guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Pokemon Duel. Today we are doing ground gym deck prep. Ground types getting plus 1 MP to 1 and 2 MP Pokemon. And water types getting plus 20 to white and gold discs. So what I'm going to be doing is running through all the different Pokemon that are available to us. Picking out which ones are going to be kind of the most OP in this tournament. And at the end, coming to a conclusion about what deck I'm probably going to run. And also some advice on some things, some good counter decks possibly, and things to look out for. So, starting with the ground type Pokemon. We don't have a lot of options within the common side of things. Rhyhorn can be evolved into Rhydon and Rhyperia, but I think that's just going to take a bit too long to do uh, for it to be useful. Then we move to uncommon types. Uh, we have Vibrava. Vibrava is a very good Pokemon because with that unique ability of vibrating sound to trap Pokemon, uh, your opponent's Pokemon cannot pass by this using an MP move. And as soon as it lands nearby it, you can't uh, initiate an attack. My only reservation about this is that um, there could be a lot of yellow discs. In tournaments where there's, there's hardly any gold attacks, um, you, don't, you don't have to worry, but with Greninja being uh, having a plus 20, I think he'll shut Vibrava down, Vibrava down pretty well. So, but potentially you could run three of them, get people trapped, good hurdle jump, uh, could get you into a position where you could steal a quick win. So definitely look out for that. Next up we have in the uncommons, we have Palpatol, so you could go for the evolution, but I don't think you really need it with, uh, with uh, Seismitoad. The thing is with those types, they are water and ground types, so they'll get the plus one MP buff with the plus 20 attack. So the evolve is gonna be a lot easier. Let's move to rare next. Steelix, Onyx, I'm not even gonna talk about them. Gabite, three MP of Gabite. This is a good little rush deck Pokemon because we haven't seen a lot of Gabite anymore these days recently. But in the, in the start of the game, Gabite used to be boss because you'd, 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 if you could trick people, initiate with that three MP, you go move forward, somebody initiates attack wrongly against the Gabite, you go under and that's game. So we could see a lot of quick wins here if people are not fully aware of Gabite's ability. And I think some people will be caught out by that because of the big gap that we've seen where he hasn't come into effect recently. So, but as or, as for like, if, in, if you don't get that clutch, that, that clutch win, I think he's not going to be strong enough. He's going to have that 70 Dragon Ball, the 40 Slash, and Sun Attack. You know, you only have to spin twice with a Greninja on the yellow disc, and he's guaranteed to be gone. Um, and whilst we're on it, I wouldn't suggest Groudon. Just the abilities, are, it's not good. good. The 3 MP, yes, that's cool. He can he's going to mix an alright runner, but Claw, Dragon Claw and Dragon Rush just aren't strong enough attacks to back that up. So, next up we have Flygon. So you could go with the Vibrava Flygon Evolution. I always recommend it if you're using the Vibrava, uh, but you get it quite rarely. With the Flygon, you obviously have the ability to have Draco Meteor, which is a killer for those big attackers, and Fly Away. So the ability to jump over Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw 60 uh, damage, which is okay, but not really strong enough. And again, very vulnerable to yellow discs. And 3 MP is awesome though. I mean, you could you go 3 MP, hit Fly Away. Again, you could get some clutch wins. But I think if you are on point and you're focused, you will be able to counter these decks. And as long as you've got some yellow discs. So, or gold discs. Next up in the ref category, we have Marsh Stomp, who definitely could be evolved into Seismitoad because at 2 MP you can get him into good positions. Mudshot will be 100 attack and I'll attach an, an MP minus 1 marker to a battle opponent. So that could be good. And Muddy Water, the battle opponent, one neighbor directly behind them and not one step back. So this guy's an actual heavy hit. His miss will be reduced to 8 when powered up to level 5. And I think we could see a lot of this guy. I mean, Muddy Water, Mudshot, the evolve's not going to be difficult. And then you get the evolution into Seismitoad and you can potentially do a lot of damage then. Because Seismitoad's attack is at a vertical equate 70, but then if you get the evolve at 80, then plus the 20, it becomes 100. And actually you can see Seismitoad probably matching people. And you know, it's a lot of dodge and bumpy vibration, which could be frustrating in games. I think with if you run a whole squad of Seismitoad and Palpitoad, people would be in trouble of that weight win effect. Kind of excited to see if anybody pulls it off in this gym. Next up, Stumfisk. Just not great because I'm not going to pay attention to much sense to me. Yes, he he uh, has the ability where people move over and either paralyzed, but that's not going to be a good defensive Pokemon. 
So, Zygarde, really sad that this guy's attacks aren't strong enough really to back up his ability. I mean, Land's Wrath is an awesome move. It's hard to hit though, and if you do hit it, you then make everybody spin purple. But you can use the, obviously, Land's Energy and prevent your own Pokemon from spinning. And we might see a lot of purple discs in this tournament, so some people might opt to try and pull that off. Swampert, again a water and ground type. If you've got some good pulls out of these at uh, the recent banner, then you could be in for a uh, good, good gym cut because this guy's going to have huge strength. Hammer Arm is going to be 130, 120 with the Evolve. And Tractor, the ability to knock the Pokemon one step back and move the battle opponent to this previous Pokemon's previous location. Do the battle opponent gains weight. So Tractor could be really 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 good you can also, like, you can initiate attacks and tactically use that to maybe get surrounds or set yourself up for the surround ice punch at 90 again 100, 100 attack uh if you get the evolve wow this guy is going to be super powerful and the ice punch is a really good thing to have in a match the miss size at eight once level five it's not too big, it's you know, it's, it's that first territory of miss, and I'm not too bothered by that. Rhyperia 2 MP. This guy is gonna be a great potential rusher, and you that you know, that bulldoze is such a unique move and a killer. If you hit it, bam, you potentially push them off and win the match. But I feel you can defend against this by just having a double. Um, double block on your goal, which means they can't you can't knock it, knock your opponent one step back then. And Rock Wrecker with a few, there's very rare. It's, we're not going to see many flying types in this gym, I don't think. And therefore, Rock Wrecker is going to be a bit redundant. Rock Blast at 100 though, which is going to be pretty pretty deadly still, and um, with the option of obviously going to 200, 300. So Rapier is definitely going to be a good strategy Pokemon. Torterra offers something up in the fact that he has that unique ability where he can guard a um, cornerstone, where he can guard a goal at entry point. But the problem is, you know, he's just not that bite attack it leaves him massively vulnerable withdraw. And the two MP that he's going to get, it's not going to be that useful. You're not going to see that pulling off being being that effective because Torterra is a Pokemon that you just set on your entry point. And it's very rare that you see one advance. So, Seismitoad is the last in the ground type, and this guy is a water and ground type. So, we will see the plus 1 MP going to 3 MP, and also plus 20 to his earthquake becoming 190, and it with the evolve becoming 100. Bumpy vibration. Um, Kenny was asking, what, what would you recommend to upgrade on this when you uh, put those four, so it's up to level five, four spaces into it? Do you go for a dodge? Do you go for earthquake? Do you go for wimpy vibration? And he said dodge, which is, I think is a pretty clever idea because this Pokemon could be really frustrating to play against with the fact that any Pokemon that battles it becomes poisoned. You could become, you could poison a lot of people with this and then you back it up with the ability to potentially if you're running with Crobot and Venusaur, you know, a poison deck could be a really viable option in this tournament. So, that's ground types. Now let's look at the water types and see what that's got to offer. Water dominated when we had the plus one MP because Manaphy and Gyarados and, and Magikarp, the evolving Gyarados, was killer. It was so hard to play against uh, because Manaphy would just get those attacks. You get two out. And a massive plus 40. So, sad that all the new banner Pokemon, <laughs> I haven't got any of them. So, I don't even get to build that into my deck. Common types, nothing really to think about. Uncommon, again, except for, I believe, Poliwhirl, obviously, because that two spin ability, shifting the two segments in a clockwise direction, has the ability to potentially counter some Pokemon. And with that hypnosis, I love that move, it's just a great cover because you can put people to sleep. But Water Gun will become 70 and 60. I would love to see Polly um, Polly Wrath come out, but I think we're going to see Feraligator as the reward. It'd be great to see two rewards, you know, Polly Wrath and a Feraligator. Because when that Evolve comes, it's going to be you can you, that's going to be really viable. Hopefully, Polly Wrath is really strong. Frogadier is definitely an option if you want to try and evolve into Greninja, because you will get plus 10 Greninja. With that plus 20, imagine a 50 times Water Shuriken. And remember, Water Shuriken, if used tactically, has the ability to make opponents spin behind them. And with a lot of purple discs, I think, in this tournament, you could potentially hit that and go for the double knockout. 
So, you know, that evolve is definitely viable with the plus 20, making his water gun 70. Toxic spikes at two stars. Yeah, I, I think we're going to see some evolutions from Frogadier. Definitely if you're playing tactically and you go for a long match, definitely an option. Next up, we have... Tuchadal, Sea King, Goldeen, not really an option. Let's look at these attacks, make sure we're not missing anything. If there's an water type Pokemon, this Pokemon gains one, one MP. Just, nah, Fury Attack, oh, actually, jeez. Fury Attack will go to 40, so it's basically like a Greninja with 100 and 100 attack. Actually, Sea King could really be a viable option. Definitely a good budget Pokemon. With 40 times Fury Attack, you can take that to probably half of the, to a half disc. The dodge and a nice mega horn at 100. Sea King's powerful. Sea King's really powerful and it goes to 3 MP. So you could cheekily, they could think you're on 2 MP and then bam, you go with the 3 MP. Uh, is the evolve viable? Waterfall. It's going to water type. This Pokemon takes no damage. Pretty good to counter to water Pokemon. Aquatail. Nah, it's not great. You'd have to go with Sea King. A, a good, and again, another good uh, budget Pokemon. Crab Hammer, Aqua Deck, Guillotine. When, this, when attacked, you can move this Pokemon back two steps to the battle. That could be good, you know. You could tactically use that, like Shuttle Flip with Mew, and um, maybe clutch a match with that. So this, there is a lot of budget Pokemon. Palpatode, we've already looked at and discussed him. Lapras, a good rare Pokemon with that Sing, but not strong enough in this tournament, in my opinion. Tends Cruel cool Nova pouring Marsh Stomp with that evolved thing. Sharpedo is a really potentially good potential just because if an opponent's Pokemon has a special condition, this Pokemon gets 1 MP, so it will become 3 MP. And if you combine that with the fact that you've got, if you have a Seismic Toad with the Poison ability, uh, you're going to see the opponent's Pokemon having a special condition. So 3 MP for a Sharpedo would be pretty good. And you can back up with some fair attacks because Ice Fang, with that ability to freeze if you're knocked out, you could just send this guy in and get him frozen. School Bash is still pretty effective. Um, and again, if you go for that special condition per Pokemon, it becomes a knockout. Noxious Fang, Poison Deck, potential, still potential for a Poison Deck. And then we go to the EXs. There are some really good options, but some just aren't strong enough. Palkia is a, is a beast in terms of strength, but he's not gonna be viable because he is, it always has to come off last, and I find that too much of a vulnerability. Blastoise, you go for the Evolve, uh, he becomes super powerful with that Miracle 3 star. In my opinion with Blastoise, you always have to get the Evolve to have that effect of Miracle, because so rarely does it pull off against the 1 star, and usually becomes a neutral turn. I believe they should make that Miracle 3 stars, definitely. But Hydro Pump at 120 makes some good, good strong Pokemon from the south. Keldeo, no. Swampert. Is a beast as we've said, just crazy. I really reject re 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 sad that I don't have him. Greninja though, wow. Greninja with a 40 times water shrinking. Crazy, Hydro Pump at 80. I have, and I'm tempted for the Evolve. This guy's gonna be an awesome, awesome addition to any squad. And I got three, but I'm really reluctant to run three because I just think it's it's not gonna be a consistent squad. If you run that, you've gotta hit Still, if it's 40 attack, you've got to hit that three times to get 120. And that one's going to have the buff on it, so it's going to be more powerful attack. Still, I just think it's not going to be a consistent player. If you're looking for consistency in your play, I mean, you could also get inconsistency and get a good streak going. Uh, you just have to be pretty lucky with those water streaks and spins. And Polion, it's been a great addition to a lot of decks, the steel and the water um, uh, benefits that have been in the tournaments recently. And I really like him just because uh, Ice Beam is a great cover, 30 is a great yellow attack, and 110 with the Hydro Pump is big. And the main ability, that diving entry, how many times that clutches matches and uh, like, keeps you in it sometimes. If you run two of these guys, and you're, if somebody's attacking you and trying to hold down your goal, your entry point, it's really difficult when you kill somebody, and then Empoleon just comes straight on. It can be really frustrating to play against. I, I, I hate it, but I do like it because that ice beam, as rare and small as it is, when it pulls off, you know, can pull up, pull, pull off, been pulled off with a really good, useful time. We have, oh, no, Drake was speaking. We have Manaphy at 1 MP. It's going to give you a buff of 20, so water decks are going to be so strong. 
So you think he'd be back in Water Ninja? You've already got 60 attack with the Water Shuriken. You can take his uh, Hydro Pump 260 to 80 to 100. So giving him real strength. 1 MP, you just gotta get this guy on. And Manaphy's Song, if you've got a lot of water Pokemon or the people have water decks, that can be clutch as fuck because, uh, excuse my language, but it is, it's gonna be so deadly because I love just, I used to love sitting this guy on an entry point. Somebody would attack with Manaphy's Song, I'd move to the guy off the goal line and clutch a match. So I really like this bubble, is the only downside, obviously. Uh, when this Pokemon is on the field, yeah, war 20, 20 damage, it's crazy. Um, and people, people, people really like the combination of that with uh, the Gyarados because it just it makes it social. With if you if you do run two, personally I won't be running two because I think it's too much of a uh, the one MP is just too much of a vulnerability and the bubble's not strong. But with the yellow discs, you've got a lot of counters again. Big purple discs. We're going to see a lot of counter decks. Next up, Suicune. When this Pokemon moves from the bench to the field, any special conditions or curse markers from all Pokemon you have in duel are removed. So this guy's a great, great combination to having a deck against your Seismic Toad. Well, potentially, a deck might be extremely like poisoned that you can then pull him on and heal everybody. Ice Beam at 80, he will go to Sheer Call to the Battle Opponent. If the Battle Opponent is frozen, it's excluded from the duel. I just love the, the, the thought that people are going to be doing this. I don't think it's going to pull off. I don't think it's going to be pulled off a lot. We might see, I'll probably see it once, and that's why I don't think it's a viable option. Hydro Pump at 90 as well. You know, when you see people with abilities to exclude from Jaw, it, it, just, it just. You see lower attacks, and that causes problems in terms of. You're not going to get consistent with Suicune. I just don't think. I don't think he's a great viable option. With the, you know, if you put him combined with a mana fee and the plus 20, okay, you could do some damage and knock people out, but still, you're gonna have to have those mana fee and support. And you could go for some certain Pokemon that, you know, not Seismitoad, but uh, Swampert, who he's gonna have just straight off strong attack. And he's gonna beat anybody. If you if somebody, if he's if you've got a mana fee and a Swampert. That's that's for me it's OP. So let's build this deck of what I would have. Let's go with what I had, what I would have, and let's go with what I have, because I don't have a lot of these characters. You know, water and ground types. Oh my god, I would. I, if I had three Seismitoad, I would hands down run three Seismitoad and a Manaphy. Get that Earthquake to 110, and uh, and just get poisoning people. Because and you may not even need a mana fee because once you poison somebody, then they're weaker and you've got a good chance of hitting your dodge and bumpy vibration set, so poisoning them, and then get into initiating attack. I would have I, I would I would run a seismito deck, like a pure weight deck with mud energy as well to inflict more weight on people. Yeah, it could be it could be a real good way of clutching matches here with a weight win which we haven't really seen before. Uh, Swampert, Swampert, oh my god, I think I'd, I literally would just run three Swampert and three Seismitoad if I could, because it's just going to be insane, maybe one Manaphy with them. Um, so from, the water deck seems boss, ground deck, we need a 3 MP runner deck, and I just don't think there's anybody good enough. Torte to Garchomp and Seismitoad are the only EXs that will go to 3 MP. Yeah, and Gyarados not viable. Seismitoad definitely is. Uh, so I just don't think it, there's there's much benefit from the three MP. Like I say, Vibrava and Fire Flag on vulnerable to yellow attacks. So and Ripe here is not gonna be effective because of because of the fact that you know we haven't seen many, we haven't got many flying types. Um, well, Gyarados isn't in there. That's one Pokemon we haven't talked about. Gary, Gyarados. It's always a viable option. Magikarp is going to be a great at 2 MP, still going to get on the field nicely. With that evolve, you could use it as cover. Um, and with the, with the mana fee in combination, you know, my 120, I just want to go to 140. That's, that's super powerful. And will be good enough to take out some difficult people. Storm is a great backup. I think, but, but I just think three Seismitoad would be so frustrating to play against. You'd be poisoned left, right, center. I'd pr if I if I could, I'd run three Seismitoad, I'd run an Empoleon for that diving entry cover and the ability to freeze, 
and I would run two Swampert. Killer. Wait. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I do. Wow. But I cannot do that deck. Ah, it's a shame. I just <laughs> I'd have to have so many. I've got no gems to be able to buy. Maybe there's one sitting in here. I don't think you can pull one. What we got in here? Oh wow. Oh, oh, Zubat. Zubat is a very viable option in the gym if you want to die. Um, so finally, let's just build this deck. So we do not have the options, but that means that I get the, the opportunity to build a deck that potentially, that's the deck I want to change, right? The potentially can counter. And so I don't think many people have pulled stuff in this banner. So I think it's going to be hopefully helpful to a lot of people. So I'm going to I have to pull a water deck. I just think it's too good. I do like runner decks. Greninja at five star. I think I'm going to uh, take this guy's water shrug into 25. That'll make a double spin 50 um, and sacrifice one of these Greninjas because I don't think I'll, they'll get, I'll get much benefit from running three of these guys. They'll just be, they won't be too hard to take out. So I'll be running a Greninja. I'll be running an Empoleon with his two class levels. I am gonna put Manaphy in there. And I'm gonna put my boy Gyarados. No, no. <laughs> I'm gonna put my boy Magikarp in with the Gyarados evolve. So we've got a lot of strength there. We've got purple disc, and then I think people are gonna get poisoned. You know, it's, it's tricky. I think Corsals are no. Keldeo's a hell no. I just want to get him on and get the plus 20 attack. You could run two Magikarp, but I'm going to go and look to see if I can get any ground runners that will be. Because I want that 3 MP. He's right here. How have we missed Groudon? Oh, is it, Groudon isn't purchasable as well. Groudon with the 2 MP. Nah, no, not good enough. Sorry, Groudon. 130 smash. No, not 130. It's just 2 MP, 110 smash break energy. Nah, grab on the input, ain't, ain't. It's not viable. So, that would mean that... I really like the idea of a Vibrava, but I just think with a lot of yellow discs, he's in trouble. But the ability to confuse as well. Supersonic is obviously quite deadly. I do love the fly gun evolve. I feel like I'm gonna start with this, but then probably change. And I really want to run a Gavite as well because I think, I think as a runner, he gives me so much strength to play against. Just look at him, he's going to have 3 MP. You go in for the attack. Yeah, I'm going to play that at the start just because I'm going to catch people out. I know I'm going to catch people out. There's nobody viable on there. Quite like to have a, a gym for the first time where I can run three, three MP Pokemon. Because that's what I always love to play. It's my favourite strategy, but they're just not strong enough now. You've got these water types, which are just crazy heavy hitters. What's my Blastoise? I thought I had a Blastoise. Where's my Blastoise going? Did I ever have a Blastoise? Probably deleted it because I don't like it. <laughs> Sharpedo. I think, I think it's got to be Double Gary, you know. Double Gary. Right, so we've got Empoleon, it's going to be, Empoleon is going to be 111 Hydro Pump. Then with Manaphy, 100, he's so covered, 110 high, Ice Beam. Aqua Jet will be 71, but it's a yellow disc. It's just going to be so strong. Yeah. Yep, yep. Right. Magic up. I just think they're too powerful. Plus 20 MP. My only other. Obviously, we've got other options. And they consist of things outside of water and ground. And I just still think this guy is so viable. He's got the grass knot, which is going to cover you against a lot of those big attacks potentially. And Typhoon Slash and Grass Knot. Sorry, and Sword of Justice. Step work. Could be a 
effective. Not a lot of blue discs. Karelian no. Sceptile. I mean Sceptile could be awesome. Just because he's insanely good. Sceptile could still be pretty viable. And I'm just thinking also about Zapdos. I just think there's a lot of potential purple discs. You know what, I'm going to go with this. <laughs> it, was, it was so good, we've destroyed the game. Okay, so, one thing that I'm really curious about and will be a big determinant of what I actually go for is this guy, Marshtron with the ability, when there are three water type Pokemon in the field, your ground type will get a 1 MP buff. The big question there is, will they get, will 1P figure, ground type figure, go from 1 MP to 3 MP? If it does, then this guy is definitely a, a contender for my squad because he, he can back it up with, you know, Mudshot 100 attached to MP markers to people, Muddy Water, uh, potentially a good skill, a good protect. Because if he takes a, a, a ground type to 3 MP, then I think Rhyperi is really viable. Just because of that, that run ability. To move three and then with that bulldoze be a real, real good, a good option. And obviously you've got Rock rock Blast. He's got power backing him up. He's not vulnerable to a Poliwhirl's counter. He is very vulnerable to Confuse, which I'm not going to see too much of, I don't think. Maybe with the Vibravas. Who knows, but they're flying types. Or not. <laughs> no, wait, maybe Vibrava is not a flying type, is it? It's a ground dragon. Strangely enough, he knows why. So, ultimately, whether that is the case, it probably would be a Marsh Tomp and um, and Rhyperia. But what I'm going to say is, I'm gonna go for Old Faithful. I'm sorry, I've just got to put him in. He's too good. Zapdos because he does prevent provide pretty good cover against purple attacks. I think there's gonna be a fair few of them. I think that ability to soar will catch a lot of people out. I also think with Verizion I'll be able to counter big attacks and hit them with the Typhoon slash potentially clutch matches and step work to go over. So that's my final final team. That's what I'm going to be going into the gym with. First off, Greninja, I need to up his MP, Manaphy, don't need to make any changes to him, and Polion. Magikarp with the evolve into a crazy Gyarados at 120. Um, uh, Hyper Beam, Zapdos, just killer, and um, Verizion. Yeah, done. That's my squad. Let me know what guys you, what you're gonna run. Let me know if they've, you've picked up any tips, any like, uh, are there any secret Pokemon that I've missed out that will be really, really dam damaging in the squad. Let me know if you're building a poison deck and what you're gonna make that look like, because that's gonna be really interesting. I think that's gonna be really possible with uh, Seismitoad poisoning the hell out of people. Imagine th three Seismitoads is just gonna poison my whole deck. That's crazy. That's it's gonna be so deadly. Congrats if you've got that deck. Anyway, that's all for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, make sure to hit the like button. See you next time.